people. Today is Ifunaya's birthday. Uh, and we're all yeah. standing here to wish her a very happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, darling. I love you. Thank you, my baby. And many more return. Amen. <laughs> so, we are going to start with the first thing first, mm -hmm. which is cutting your cake. Yes, baby. And we're going to cut it at the mention of love. Oh, we love you. <laughs> so, guys, let's go. Together. Hold, hold your cake. Okay, if not. Hold your cake. Hold, hold your, hold it's all cake. yours, girl. <laughs> Let's go. Together. L O V E. Yes. <laughs> Happy birthday, girl. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. See how you are going to escape from this one. Out to call him. I, I I left her here with you. Are you blind and dumb at the same time? Can't you see she's not here? Look, go and get me if Naya immediately. I, I My princess. How is this even possible? What's going on here? She can't subdue the drugs. She was she was lying so helplessly here. Yeah. So where is she? Don't ask me dumb questions. Can't take this, man.
Mother, how did it go? Ifunaya is a witch. What do you mean? Ifunaya is missing. Mommy, she's missing. What do you mean Ifunaya is missing? She is no longer in her room. The room I saw her walked in a few minutes ago, she is not there. I thought you said she's supposed to be under the influence of the drug. She's supposed to be in her room, sleeping unconsciously. Mother, that, that is what I am saying. Alright? I left her in the room. I asked the former to get the guy for me. Then I went to my room to get my phone. I came back and she's nowhere to be found, Mom. I searched everywhere. The room, the bathroom, everywhere. The wardrobe. I couldn't find it Naya again. That's not funny. Mother, it's strange. It is so strange. Jen, look for her. Ask the guards. Ask the medics. Search for her. Find her. I shall do that, Mom. Why is she always escaping my trap? Why? What is wrong? What is going on? So I'm telling you for you to know the importance and value of Ifunanya in this kingdom. Not just to this palace, but to the entire community. This is serious. Very serious. But why is she not letting Ifunanya go? Since it's her mission and a common goal. It's clear. Another prince is coming. Well, I know about that. I know another prince is coming. So, using Ifunaya to kill the king for Prince Ikemba to ascend to throne is now useless. Because there is another contender. So you're saying they want Ifunaya to kill the king so that he came back and contend with the new prince? I don't really know because the prince is already in town. This is so delicious. <laughs> Honestly, I know you will like it. I don't just like it. I love it. And I made it specially for you. <laughs> oh, such a sweetheart. Thank you so much for this. Thank You're you. Welcome. Mm -hmm. So, where is the Queen Mother? Mm. Sorry, pardon me. <laughs> This is so nice. Easy. Oh, uh, she should be in her chamber. Resting or something, I think so. Yeah. I see. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm glad you are enjoying it. Yes, my darling. I love it. I think it's high time you came and see our palace. And also get acquainted with my cute brother. Mm. The nice king of my kingdom. Mm. In that case, I will come. I will tell you when I will visit your palace. But before then, allow me to enjoy this delicacy. Go ahead. It's so sumptuous. I love it. Such a good cook. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I do. I do my darling. That taste of um, that spice um. Hello, sister. Mama is dying. Mama is dying. Money is needed for her treatment. Why haven't you come and see Mama? This is just unbelievable. A hundred and fifty thousand naira is needed. But I just have thirty thousand naira. And I've already promised the doctor they are coming with some more amount of money to facilitate the treatment. Sister, they should just allow you to come now. Mama needs someone to take care of her. She needs a, a girl to be with her. Mama needs a girl to bait her. Ну 
look at her. Holier than that attitude. Aqua Connect. Are you crying? My dear, I know that you are admiring my handsome chef. Hmm? If I see you anywhere close to him, I mean this inch close to him, I would devour you like a tigress devours her prey. Are you hearing me? Oh. Yes, that's my name. You former? Ogini. Former, please. I beg you in the name of the gods, please, leave me alone. Hey. Leave me alone. Don't provoke me more than this. Before my... Just respect yourself. Else what? Hmm? It's, not, it's not even like you're being paid. You're no longer paid. You don't eat up to three square meals in this palace. So what are you still doing here? Hmm? What are you still doing here? If not for that you have interest in the chef. And when for the neighbor, man. Mm-hmm. 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 Your Majesty. Go ahead. Say what you have to say. Your Majesty. I'm here to plead on behalf of Ifenaya to be given some days off to go and see her sick mother who's been lying critically ill in the hospital. She has been crying all day. Please, your majesty, I beg you, give her some time off. Biamoke, get out. Excuse me. I said get out, you bloody fool. Did you not hear her? Get out. There's going to be a meeting in this palace in the morning. I want to look into the eyes of those idiots and tell them exactly what I have on my mind. I am working underground on that. But you have to be up and doing. We will leave no stone unturned. to plead on your behalf. No, my, my princess, I, I, I did or not make you him shut up. that thing you called mouth. Look at this pathetic lie. Now look, let me tell you something. You are not stepping an inch out of this palace. Did you get that? You are not leaving. You want to leave and do what exactly? Go take care of your stupid dying old mother <laughs> so your mother can die for all I care. Look at you. Do you even remember when we asked you to leave? What did you do? You refused. You stupidly refused. You rejected my money, our money. I gave you two million naira, idiot. You refused to take it. You don't want to leave. Now all of a sudden you want to leave and do what? Take care of a witch that is dying. Let your mother die. I don't care. But as for you, now listen very well. If Onanya, you are not leaving this palace, not dead or alive. Get out! I said leave! I said leave! Investing. <laughs> They want to rule the kingdom by fire, by fire. Oh, 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 o
Sorry, um, I'm here to see my sister Ifunaya. Ifunaya is indisposed at the moment. You cannot see her. How? What do you mean? I don't understand. Listen, it's very important I see my sister right now. All right? So go in there and inform my sister Ifunaya that her brother is here to see her. I just told you. You cannot see Ifunaya. She's not coming out. Okay, what is going on there? Uh, my queen. Uh, is this young man? He says you want to see Ifunaya. Young man? What is your name? Um, my name is Ifani Wachuku. Uh, my, my sister is Ifunaya Wachuku. So I'm here to see her. Oh, you are here to see Ifunanya? Yes, my uh, That's all right. Uh, uh, just wait outside the palace. Eh? She'll come and be with you immediately. Yeah. Uh, sorry, it's, it's very urgent. If he stands on their way, they will destroy you. What are you doing? If you dare open this gate for this dog again, I will tell the chef to prepare your meat for dinner. Yes, my queen. Your Majesty, please, please don't allow my mother to die. She's the only woman I have in this whole world. Please. I don't want her to die. Please, Your Majesty. I serve you with my whole being. I serve you with my soul. Please, Your Majesty. Don't allow my poor mother to die. Please, I beg you. I don't want her to die. Please, Your Majesty. Please, Your Majesty. Ifinaya. Um, I tried to talk to Her Majesty. I'm sorry, but she refused. It's okay. I know she won't listen to you. Listen. Be strong. Alright? Nothing is going to happen to your mother. I promise you that. You don't understand. She needs blood. The hospital said that she needs blood. And she's the same blood group with me. I just want to go to that hospital and donate blood to her. That's all. So I can save her. I, I just, so I can save my poor mother. I don't want her to die. I just want to go there and donate blood to her. It's alright. Be strong, okay? Can I attend to His Majesty now? Of course. Excuse me. Where is the fried chicken I asked you to prepare for me? My prince, I did not forget. But it's time for your father to have his meal. After which you have his medication. Then I will go to the kitchen and make your chicken for you. Get up! I said up! My prince, there's no need to raise your voice. 
Okay? I just explained this to you. I will go and make your chicken after I feed your father. We are men. There's no need to overreact like the women. Please. Are you crazy? Is something wrong with you? Is this dead man more important than me? No, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. You fool. Because of this nonsense. This. Now, that is how I reason with animals like you. We are not mates or class in any way. Now, before I open my eyes, I want you to get out of here and go prepare my fried chicken and served in my room. Noted, my prince. Do you understand? Yes, my prince. This is the last time you will challenge my authority. My sister's line is not connecting. Okay. Okay. Open these gates. I know you can hear me. Okay. Yes, Mom. I've spoken with the elders. Yes. They will all have to wait. But I'll return before the next uh, festival season. <sighs> yes. No. Listen, Mom. Even the gods of our land knows I'm the next king of my kingdom. So let them be patient and let me accomplish some important mission. Yes. Great, great. Okay, okay. Um, how is my sister doing? All right. I will talk to her later in the evening. All right, Mom. Mom, it's really not easy for me. It, it, it's really not easy, trust me. All right, Mom, talk to you later. I know. I know it is not. But you have to do it. Yes, you have to do it. It's for the betterment of the kingdom. It's all right, Ami. I will try my best. I'll be calm. Bye. May the gods be with you. Bad mother with bad children, very desperate and ambitious. Fatally to the Nika. They want to rule the kingdom by fire by fire. Good evening, Princess. I want goat's meat pepper soup in the next 10 minutes. And when you're done making it, get it to my room yourself. Uh, excuse me, my princess. Yes? My time frame is very small. I mean, very small. I just finished making chicken for the prince. And I have to feed the king, your father. Please, I beg you. 
Give me 20 minutes and I will bring your order to your room. I promise you it will not exceed that time. Does it look like I care if you feed cops in this house? My princess, your father needs to take his medication. And I need my meal in the next 10 minutes. If you don't get it, <laughs> you are dead. Practically dead. I don't think you have an idea how much I hate you. I hate you with so much passion. Just know this. Fool. I'm sorry, my princess. No, this, this is hard. I thought I was just going to come here and then cook for the king. Little did I know they were going to turn me to a general chef. This, this is so hard. The secretary general. My friend. Leave whatever you are doing. Prepare bitter leaf soup for me. Fresh bitter leaf soup. And make sure it's ready by 15 minutes. Uh, 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 Your Majesty. What? Uh, bitter leaf soup right away. Be fast about it. Yes, Your Majesty. No, 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 I can't, I can't be doing this, I can't be doing this, this is, this is hard, this is hard. Mr. Ifai, your mother needs blood transfusion, I mean, she's losing her strength. Doctor. The situation is beyond my powers right now. I mean, how do you mean? You've been talking about this, your sister, that she's coming with blood and everything. This is your unseen sister. Seriously, if I don't see her, I'll have no choice than to discharge your mother. I'm not joking, I'm not playing here. Chai. Doctor. You will not understand my situation right now. As a matter of fact, I'm just coming back from the palace. But the queen has refused to free my sister for me. What? Uh, well, Mr. Ifai, you see, if I don't see more money before tomorrow, hmm, I will have no choice than to discharge your mother with no. immediate effect. Doctor, no. I'm telling you the truth. Doctor, no, please, just give me more time. I promise you, I'll make it up to you. I'm not joking here. We are not running a charity organization here. Yes. Doctor, I understand everything you're saying. All right? And I appreciate your effort so far. Please. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> Mama, please. You just have to be strong. You have to be strong for us. Please. If Naya cannot come here to see you, I'm just coming back from the palace. But the queen has restricted her from seeing you. She played smart on me. And I couldn't see you Naya. You just have to be strong. Listen, I promise you, I'll try all my best to make sure that you live here strong. Uh, 
Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Romantic girls. <laughs> oh. Come in. My prince, your order is ready. Drop it there. <laughs> uh, come back here. Get us a bottle of red wine. Mm -hmm. And take the girls' orders. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need um, fried rice. Fried goat meat and um, hot dog, yeah, hot dog. Hot dog. Uh, my prince, mm. with all due respect, I am making bitter leaf soup for your mother, Her Majesty. I am making pepper soup for your sister and her friend who just came. And I also need to make food for the king because you threw away the first food I made for him. Please, let me call one of the maidens to take their orders. What is this chef talking about? The maiden to take my order? Are you high on drugs or something? I'm not high on drugs, but they're humans too. You know, you really have balls. You have balls. At the same time, you know I can also make your life miserable. Now let me ask you, between my beautiful ladies here and that long time sick old dying fool, that stupid king, who is more important? No, tell me. My prince, the elders paid me to take good care of the king and feed him and not to feed your friends. Can you imagine? Look at an ordinary chef talking to our king in making like this. Do you realize I'm the next king? As a matter of fact, the king. Now are you going to do what I asked you to do or you want me to give it to you hot? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, sugar, it's okay. You don't have to allow him to spoil our mood. He, he, he's not worth it. Instead, let him get us contraceptive. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know I listen to you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boy, run down to the stores and buy us contraceptive. Fast. Be fast. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I'm a lot of fun. My prince, you are not supposed to be listening to these girls. They are taking advantage of you. You are a king in the making, and you should act like one. Please, allow me to take care of your father. Let me make food for him and. Give him his medications. If I open my eyes, I expect you would be back with the contraceptive. Get out. Shush. My prince. Shush away, please. Ah. Uh, mm-hmm. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Cheers, sweetheart. Of course. Uh. <gasps> Welcome to my humble home. Thank you. This palace is magnificent. You can say that again. <laughs> Meanwhile, I told my brother so many juicy things about you. I equally told him how amazingly beautiful you are. Oh, 
I'm blushing already. Of course, baby girl. <laughs> you can go on and on and blush. Nyeze, <laughs> you don't have to feel bad. Very soon, all this will be history. You just have to endure till the end. Okay? I didn't sneeze intentionally. I know. I apologized. You talk as if you don't know the princess. You know how she behaves. Especially now that she's with her princess friend. I know she's only trying to prove to her princess friend that she is in charge. Exactly. So, please don't take it to heart. Everything will be fine. It's well. It's alright, I'm fine. Hmm? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Um, sweetheart, I think you have to take things easy with them. I'm so sorry, my darling. But you see, those urchins are so annoying. Oh. It was just a harmless mistake. It could have happened to anybody. Yes. Who cares? A commoner, a nobody, a palace servant messing around with me? Come on, girl. This is so unacceptable by me. How dare he? It was not his fault. That fool sneezed his infected droplets on me. He got me too. But he apologized immediately. This is totally unacceptable. Totally unacceptable. Please. Chima, why are you getting so worked up about this? No, like why? This guy in question is just a palace servant. A commoner! He doesn't even have a surname. Who is he? That. Why are you angry about this? Why are you acting up? That does not make him less human. You do not have to hurt. I think I have overstayed my welcome. I'd better take my leave. Chima! What is wrong with you? Are you going to leave because of this? Really? Apologize to him. That is, if you want this friendship. <laughs> Did you even hear yourself talk? Did you even listen to yourself speak? I should do what? Apologize? To who? A nobody. A commoner. An identity without a soul name. Girl, I will do no such thing. Then, I shall take my leave at once. What? Okay. Fine. know what that idiotic princess saw in you. They made her ask me to apologize to a pig like you. Now you listen and listen very carefully. I am sure she might strive to know if I did apologize or not. <laughs> Which you and the gods of our land know that I can never do. So if she asked whether I apologized, you know exactly what to do. And do not even try to create a scene to make me look bad. Or like I didn't apologize. Because if you do, I will simply roast you alive. Do you understand my English? You don't have a problem, princess. I'm fine. Just shut up. Shut it! 
When I speak, idiots like you keep quiet. Very well, Princess. I will just tell her you apologize and I have forgiven you. Shut your mouth because you do not have the power to accept any apology. Who is even apologizing to you? Not even in my great, big, idiot, fool, silly thing. Why are you still mad? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm apologizing. I'm really sorry. Chima. He is just a palace chef. A servant. Why are you still angry over that little drama that happened? All right. I've apologized to him. Yes, I did. You can go ahead and ask him. I did apologize to him. You did? Yes, I did. I'm sorry. Come on. It's okay. It's fine. Thank you. <laughs> hey. Okay. <laughs> Who do we have here? Meet my brother, my Prince Charming, the cutest of them all, and the next king of Obowo Kingdom. Aha. <laughs> Hi. Hi, beautiful. I'm Prince Ikimba. Chima is the name. Nice name. Please make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Okay. I am going to let you both get acquainted. Chima, please relax and be free. And brother, take care of our guests. I'll be back in a different way. All right. <laughs> I must say that you are so beautiful. Did I just say that again? <laughs> Thank you once again. You're welcome, Angel. Come, let me take you around. Please. Beautiful queen, you're welcome to my abroad. Thank you. Ma Zimbabwe, I am giving you and your friend five million naira cash. I want you to support my son to become the next king of Obo Kingdom. I want you to say good things about my son to the coming emperor so that he can crown my son the king, no matter what. Your Majesty, your son was never a good son to His Majesty. Remember, he contributed to the illness. His Majesty is undergoing right now. Your Majesty, I will advise you not to embarrass yourself further because I will not accept your millions. The era of corruption is over. I stand for justice. I will not decide for Umbakwe. Do also remember that His Majesty have two sons. We have to seek the consent of the other before proceeding on the mercy killing of His Majesty. Uh, uh, I am not surprised. I can remember you were once uh, a parish secretary to Ahira Diocese. But this is not a Christianity matters. It's about what I want. Your Majesty, let me also remind you that this is about leadership. It includes all religion. Ma uh, Zimbabwe. I am here to tell you to support my son to become the king, and that's all. No, your Majesty, it might not be necessary. Please, go with the money. It might not go as you're thinking. Huh? Keep it. 
I have stated my intention, and that's all. <laughs> she don't know what she's up against. Not at all. <laughs> the initial deposition that we talked about. Well, Doctor, I've larried around and this is all I can get. Please, you have to commence treatment immediately. Uh, you see, Mr. Ifan, you have to understand the fact that your mother's life is at stake here. She needs two pounds of blood before we can commence any treatment. And each pound cost 15,000 Naira. So, you have to get it. Doctor. Or better say you get it done all. Doctor, I understand the fact that my mother needs blood. And that is why I'm working hard to raise money. I have vomited all I have. Doctor, please. I mean, your mother's life is at stake here. Right? Doctor, I know that my mother's life is at stake. And that is why we are here. And your duty as a doctor is to save our life. Of course. But we have to put money into consideration as well. I have predecessors. Yeah, you see, this is a private hospital. I mean, I have predecessors. So try and understand, Mr. I... Doctor, I understand all you are saying. But you have to help me. But I wish I can. Well. We will not approve anything of such until the royal household is complete. That will not happen. We are complete in this palace. Prince Kemba, you have a brother. An invincible brother? Oh, you think I don't know your plans? A decoy to rob me of my birthright. We all know. But let me sound it as a warning to you all. Whether you like it or not, my son remains the only heir to the throne. A son that squandered his father's fortune and left him stroked for more than a decade now, that's folly. He liquidated the real company. His majesty became bankrupt and couldn't pay his debts. Banks confiscated all his property. And you think we, the elders, the royal cabinets, will forget? No way. His Majesty is our brother, flesh, if not blood. We all know the truth, and we are one. Nothing can stop or break us. Enough. Mother. Why are you giving audience to this old by gods? Now listen and listen carefully. I do not care if you are keeping records. I don't. I am the son of the lion. If I like, I set the jungle on fire. That doesn't mean I do not come from the lineage of the pride. I, Prince Ikemba, will be crowned the next king of Obo. Kill him if you have balls. Of course, you can try, but you can never succeed. Stop bamboozing yourselves with this mercy killing concept. Because you can never kill His Majesty. Okoro, be careful with me, else you will see the other side of me that you know not. 
son. Calm down. I am only doing this because the emperor has not been installed. When the crown prince of Amokwe kingdom becomes the king, the emperor of the seven kingdoms of Obodamufu dynasty, let me see how any of you we stand on my son's way of becoming the sixth king of Obowe Kingdom. A prince is coming, the glorious one. The one that the king hid from you and your venom. And if you dare, in fact, let me shock you that he is already in town. And if you dare talk about mercy killing of our majesty without his consent, you will know that power belongs to the people. Ndiche, let us go. Just to take over the throne. Killing is nothing to Bloody them. Fool. If they see you as threat, you are gone. They have no regard for humanity. They are selfish. And this is it. They have committed a lot of atrocities because of truth. Where are you going? Mother, I have a date with Prince Ikemba. Hmm. Really? Mother, don't go there. I know exactly what I'm doing. He has been on my neck and I'm doing everything to get him off my back. I mean... I am not going to say anything. Just be very careful. You know you have a serious man in your life. So don't play with that. Of course, Mother. I won't. I will see you when I return. Have fun. Of course, Mother. I said everything is under control. No, Mother. Everything is not under control. Did you hear them? Did you? They have carved. Carved a man and called him a prince. They don't want me to be king. They don't. The said he is in town. I guess a slip of tongue gave life to that beautiful information. I shall take it from there. Nobody will take what belongs to me. Me! I am Prince Ikemba, the son of a lion. I set the jungle on fire and I rule the jungle. No one will cough. Not even the cops, the hyenas, the cheetahs. No one will cough. Bad mother with bad children, very desperate. And ambitious, but I'll you. The battle line is strong. They want to rule the kingdom by fire, by fire. Your Majesty, I greet you. See, the only bird that will make a hunter go hunting under the rain must be an ego. What will bring us before you this day is very important to all of us. We love our kingdom. And we cannot hand over this kingdom to a waster, a loafer, somebody that sent his father to have death and still have the nerves to talk about mercy killing. Such a person has no conscience. He's a desperado. Your Majesty, we are saying, please, don't associate with such people. 
Biko. Biko. Yes, Your Majesty. Do you know that I recorded every single word that he uttered in my phone? The most shocking word was that he said he's the son of a lion. No doubt about that, but that he can decide to set the jungle ablaze and still rule the jungle. In other words, he must rule this land, even if he damaged everything for us. Your Majesty, we beseech you, we have a prince. We are hiding him till the day your son will be crowned the king and the emperor, who will in turn crown our own prince, not the son of Dorothy. Elders of Obo King. You may go home now. Your words and plea are all useless. My son, the next king of Amoko Kingdom, will crown the prince we all know and we all have seen. He will crown him the king when the time comes. Leave at once! <laughs> They want an invisible prince to become the king. This is so hilarious. My son, the next king of Amogwe, will crown the prince when the time comes. Hey. Indeed, you are a wise queen. I envy you, my lady. Thank you so much. Thank you for doing this. Thank you. <laughs> Princess, I have never been this worried. Your brother is not picking his calls, and I need to speak with him right now. Perhaps he's busy. I need to speak with your brother. I need to speak with him. Mother, what is the matter? What is the matter? Talk to me. I have never been this worried. He needs to come. He needs to talk with the state petroleum minister. He called me. He scheduled a phone meeting with him and he needs to pick his call right now. Father, I can represent my brother. I can. I should even be on my way to that place right now. I wish I wanted him to do that. I can do this. I have been doing it since he left the palace. Yes. I don't need you to worry yourself at all. Please, mother, come and sit down. Please. Speak of you. Mother, please. Please calm down. Calm down. Just come and sit down. <laughs> 